Hey everyone, Brian here. Welcome back to um, a new video, and this time we are facing Ryan Mihalik in Koth Season 11 semi-finals. It's a uh, best of five tower bans. I banned Dartlin and he banned NG. So um, our starting map is Dread Balloon, and we're both going Cobra versus Cobra. So we'll see how this plays out. Um. So this is Koth chapter two, and in the in the um, previous round in the quarterfinals, I beat my opponent WGB three three nil, and Ryan beats his opponent Diego three one. So um, we'll be playing each other, and and the winner of this either faces um, I think it's like um. It's like, it's like King or someone, like that. But anyway, um, so how is this game going so far? So he's up one spike. Our ego is fairly even. He um, he might be a small bit up, but where um our Cobra farming him, and I'm not sure if Equin here is, is the um, right move since. I like to wait until round 9, so I can bloom boost these. So basically, um, the, the point of this is I can force his, his 2-3 mortar. Also, I can make him leak a lot more lives on round 9 than on round 8. Also, um, um, Ryan doesn't have very many Cobras up, and he's leaking a lot of lives from my round 9 rush. So I bloom boost them first, since if I bloom boost them, he can't really rush me too much. So I just upgrade a bomb, but I force him to sell two cobras and upgrade to um to a cluster. And he only has um so our e our eco is roughly the same, but we have six more cobras than he does. So we're outplaying him by a lot here. I'm just gonna speed things up right now since it's just cobra farming basically. But, um, since he sold those Cobras, he wasted like 80% or something. 70% maybe, I'm not sure. But he's equaling it with some Blacks. I'm not sure the point of that, since, um, you really want, like, Dread Plume, it's quite hard to defend adjustment, since the Mortar spots aren't great. The Mortars get spawn capped. Not spawn capped. It gets, um, capped. It hits it, its cap limit very easily. So, um, so that's why I like that just hard round 18 and I'll probably eco hard later on. I have 14 Cobras, he has, um, he, he has 14 too. He has slightly more eco, he has slightly more eco than him, but since I'm adjusting him harder here, he'll have to build up a lot more defense. As you can see, he's gone for the two signal flares. Um... I'm not sure, yeah. And as you can see, I'm not struggling at all here since I have, since he's barely adjusted me. And the reason why he can't really uh, max adjust me is since, look at his eco. His, his, his eco is way too high in a Cobra versus Cobra game. The only um, reason why you'd go that much eco in a Cobra versus Cobra game is like on, um, on, on, a map, on a map where adjustment is very easy. To defend like area 52 or like um, a bomb sub map like snowfall or concrete alley but anyway we'll move on to game two so his first l map is temple so he's i'm um, going dart ninja ace i mean dart ninja farm as you can see here so he's spiking the start i'm gonna eco to 253 he's just max equin i have no idea why Anyway, I, I'm gonna assume that he wants to deny my BIA. Nothing much happens here, it's just we upgrade the pinks. He has an interesting dart spot, but he's leaked so many lives and he's used spike. So we're like 60 lives up right now. And we're out firing, he's just randomly ecoing. I don't really think this his eco play is smart. Since he's trying to force lives, but he's only forcing like five lives per send. And I can upgrade to my plantation on round five and he's nowhere close. 
and the way eco versus farms work out is as is that um like like i've seen simba play darth versus darth i think the meta is to get up two plantations and even if you're behind an eco you just um when your opponent farms laser you rush for the eco so it's, so in turn you get you um you end up with more farms and eco than your opponent so anyway, I'm a farm up. L like basically, look at how much I'm ahead. But I have a spult too, so I'm I'm basically way ahead in money than him. Especially how these rounds eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen are all like extremely quick. So so I am um, forced to spult here, and he sneaked down more lives and used another spike. We. Go for our plantation soon. Yep. So we're out farming him right now. Now he goes for this rush. Yellows. And it might be worth it. I'm not sure. But I can just bloom boost a rush around 11. And force this bolt too. Which is what I do. And I force. Um, Here's the thing. When he sent me yellows, he only forced one spot. Well, well, I forced two spots here, and we're um, a plantation up, or not anymore. Anyway, I just farm on. A whole plantation up and, and only like forty eco behind isn't a big deal. So I'm, I'd say I'm, I'm heavily out farming. He's sending me zebras. I just boost. He sent like 2,000 worth of, of zebras there. So he sells some spults, but actually he only sold one spult. I'm I'm actually choke my um, dark target in, so I'm forced to go for a, a jog. And we leak down to one life, the one life clutch against against Ryan Mahalik. So at the moment we're in the back seat. We're absolutely getting destroyed by him. But I'm just swagging since I have that one life clutch clickbait. So I bloom boost some eco against Ryan. He um he boosts. He he's just sending me some random camo ceramics. I don't know what he's doing, but Okay. Now here's um now here's her now here's a critical moment. We each send each other a Moab. Sending a Moab is worth it on Temple because you force so much defense. And you can't really force much with Eco Bloom since the spot spots are just so OP on this map. So I get up um, 8 triple darts and boost. He has to sell loads of triple darts, which means he loses a lot of money from that. Uh, and he gets up a Jitsu and boost. So, so, uh, so I send him a follow up Moab. Now here's his mistake. He never sent me a follow up Moab. He sent me a 2 lays, which means my boost might come back. So that's his... So that's his, his mistake. He also bought a Jitsu and, and then sold it and, and then bought a Fan Club. So I just upgrade to more triple darts and just boost simply. And right now we're just ahead in money. We're plantation up. Sure he's ahead in eco but he has like no defense right now. So what we do here is, is sell farm, a jug and like three triple darts and Fan Club. This isn't um, really good for us, but nothing really we can do. Now Ryan is forced to sell all his farms, just the fan club, and this is simply because of his inefficient, inefficient way of how to defend a Moab. So in fact, he almost dies here actually, since um, he he chokes his his, his jug target in. This jug here wasn't first, if you notice. So he's just sending me some zebras when I have two jugs up. So I'm not really sure what the point of that is. This is basically a drain game now. And drain games means um, you want to try to drain your opponent as much as possible. So he uses his last boost. Here. His eco was pretty solid, but if I can keep on making him to, to sell his farms. It's brilliant for us. Now his eco is like 200 higher than mine, but since I'm forced into 
forcing him to keep on selling his stuff and we're buying them. And I know many pro DFA players say that you could never send him Moab's Dart versus Dart. But it's actually um it's actually better to I've done a lot of calculations on this. And you want to try and drain your opponent as much as possible. For example now, Ryan should have sent me a Moab since I basically have no boost. To, to afford my fan club, I'm gonna have to sell this. I lose like a thousand from this since I'm since I'm selling. From buying and reselling my fan club, I lose 1.5 thousand. So a Moab, I only lose like 1,500 plus a small amount of eco, which is like two thousand dollars. But you're just forcing way more defense, which is why sending Moabs are worth it in certain situations. So yeah, Ryan can't even afford a fan club, so he's choking. And he does die. So we'll see what his second losing map is. It's 2-0 to us. So his losing map is cards. It's, it's gonna be a, another boring cover game. So I'm just gonna speed this up. It's, it's, it's just really it's just, it's just really boring. We boost round two, we boost round six, blah blah blah. So yeah, we're 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 ahead in Cobras, he's ahead in um in 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 eco so on cards since you bound ng there's really nothing more i can do i'm pretty sure dfa loses to um, cobra like ryan's cobra is like top three not gonna lie so he boosts his spike factory i'm keeping sending so i'm forcing him to buy his um spiked balls and then i Bloom boost something. I don't even bloom boost that much, but but for some reason he's still turbo. I think it's since I scared him with all these pinks, and he thought I had some camos there, but nah, I did not. So our so our eco is five, and we have way more cobras than him. Equal boost, so I'm, I'm fairly happy. So let's just examine here. I have ten cobras. He has nine. I have seventeen more eco. Blah blah blah. I send him a, a Moab. I think that's a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. But I did it anyway. I don't know why. I think I was trying to force a boost or something. He was gonna have to turbo anyway. So I'm fairly dumb by doing that. Now here's where I make a blunder. He sells everything for um for a spike mount. I send him a BFP so I thought he can't afford a uh, miss direction, but he can. I was incredibly dumb. Like he, he can afford it so easily. So yeah, I'm pretty dumb here. So I basically just threw the game. And especially if he misdirects it, the BFB radius will clear out all the spikes and immediately pop down into a uh, Moab. So, there's me being dumb. Look, see? All these spikes just eat up the BFB. And I'm dead. So I was out playing, but I just um, let's just say I don't have much experience in um, in NG in um, in Cobra Spat games. Apart from uh, apart from on Mountain Pass, of course. Since you don't have enough money to afford the uh, misdirection, then. Anyways, T1. I'm gonna move on to my. Loop. So we have yes another. Cobra versus Cobra matchup, but this time it's an A game. So um, here's how it worked. A game worked. A game is side reliant to to the left hand side if both players are going whiz. Since lightning by default always hits always hits the right hand side first, the utmost bleed on the right before bouncing back onto the left. 
but as you, but as you can see how this path is like laid out it means all 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 his lightning bolts will go to here and all my lightning bolts will go to here so left side has an advantage unfortunately for me though um um right side has an advantage with the ods boss if you put the ods to a zero it just goes all around here but if i put mine onto a zero it goes the ods goes with the balloons instead of instead of against the balloons so it kind of evens itself out to be honest but but of course the lightning to, the lightning is much more important in early game but for um around 25 and stuff the ods boss is more important Actually, no, nah, it's not. Lightning is just more important overall. So we have like 200 more eco than him at the cost of two cobras. <laughs> yeah, it's basically that's how much um, the lightning, um, the lightning properties affect how the, how the game works early game. So I sent him a few leads, he started to adjust me round 16, but round 16 adjustment is actually quite weak. So he, so he has the boost, so he's down to 2 boost. We now have over 200 more eco than him. I'm just going to get some more eco, maybe force his ODS. We forced loads of half cobra cells, so we maybe um, made like $500, $5,000 there. So I'm just going to wired fund some. Not much point adjusting him since his ODS spot is is pretty much broken but again any lightning wizards i get is going to be broken too so he's so he's just equal now it's a bit late to eco in my opinion as i have like a 200 eco advantage so it's pretty boring i just get up my my second dragon breath and ods he barely has, has any adjustments so i'm not struggling at all here so i'm just, so I'm just gonna skip ahead it's pretty boring Place, place, place it on times two speed. You only need an ODS like round twenty one, and here's my OP ODS spot on the on the left side. You can't really use the spot here, since um. So I put it on an eight path here, so it goes like boom, 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 boom. But then his ODS spot is so much better. But of course, at a cost, he um he loses money early game, so. I would say eco advantage since of, since he has to get up like 500 fireballs instead of just um just one lightning. So our eco is exploding. We have more invested in defense. Actually, no, we don't. I'm not gonna bother adjusting him too hard. Maybe a small bit around 25, like five adjustments just to scare him a bit. But aside from that, we're ghosted. We're perfectly fine. So on round 24, I, I upgrade to my double ODS. At this point, I'm preparing for him to to send me a BFB, and and if he does, I'm gonna just upgrade to a Tempest. Yeah, I just upgrade to three adjustments just to try to scare him into getting a double ODS, which is what he does. Now I should be five in here, but I might die. Oh look, it's getting really far, but we're okay. And we defend round 25 boostless. Well played. So we have 1.5k ego, which is fairly decent. So at this point, I'm just gonna spam wired funds. I'm not sure why Ryan isn't doing it. I I believe he invented this actually, so I'm not sure why he's not doing it. Maybe uh, maybe since of stubbornness. I don't. I have no idea. Yeah, look at how his ODSs are just shredding everything since of this OP circle path. Also in round 25, he had like um, 15 adjustments. You need like 30 for max, or around there anyway. He's going for a dragon threat down here. I'm placing all my covers at the top so it shreds the Moab layers. So I just go for my Spectre on round 30 since he's adjusting me a lot more. He goes for a Spectre too. I'm not even adjusting him. Like I really don't see the point. For the Spectre against Adjustment, I'm pretty sure the um, the best path is the is the Infinity path. So I'm sending him, him a So My God now. Now, here's my trick 
on um on for for Wiz Cobra Ace and AM. I send one, so my god, basic counter. I don't send more than one, so I want to be able to defend. But if I send more, I force a lot of defense, and I can still defend like three. So my god, on his side, so he counters me. He sends two groups. So my god, and I'm like, bro, I have Ace, bro. Groups. So my god, don't mean anything. So I just boost a few phoenixes, and, and I have three, and I have three tower boosts here, bro. So what do I do? I get up three stim shots. So I can just have um a boost for like a minute long. So yeah, I'm just vibing here. He's just GC in the AI since it's, I don't know what he's doing. So like, I have an infinite boost on for like sixty seconds, and I have my stim shot. And the, and then now I just GZ once the so my gods are popped, I just GZ and I still have a boost left. And I'm like boom 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 boom, and I'm like ah oh, bro, what are you doing? Outplayed. Well, is it really outplayed? And it's kind of side reliance, but anyway, GKs. And in the finals, I'll be playing Super Jumbo Job, who has um. Three Tooth King, aka Young Shrimp, aka Bend Over. So I'll see you guys in the in the finals. Hit the best of seven there. See ya.